So Garuda Aerospace was a startup founded in 2015. Uh, it was initially originated when we uh, were shooting for a television show. Uh, it was called as Era Mariva, or in English, it would be called as the Seven Sense. It was basically a, um, a show similar to your Shark Tank, but for juniors. So uh, we had, uh, at the time, it was one of the emerging, and today it is the largest innovation ecosystems in uh, the state of Tamil Nadu, uh, incorporated in about 7,500 schools. And it was just a platform where innovators and entrepreneurs could come out and showcase their ideas. Like, you know, when the, the COVID time happened, we were the first company to take the, uh, the agricultural drone and then convert it into a sanitization drone, present it to the health minister of Tamil Nadu. And uh, they really liked the project. It was like at midnight when we gave them a demo. And the next day morning, they asked us to start operations on a pilot projects at the epicenter of then when Chennai, uh, like this was March 23rd, 24th. And uh, news of our, uh, like, you know, pilot projects, uh, like, really spread. And we got a call from the Prime Minister's office. And uh, they connected us to Varanasi, which is the Prime Minister's constituency, where they wanted us to uh, do sanitization. And, uh, you know, back then, logistics was a huge problem. Chennai to Varanasi can take upwards of 24 hours by road. And uh, there was a pan-India lockdown. Um, fortunately for us, that's when like a lot of things started happening our way and uh, we got special permission from the Ministry of Civil Aviation and uh, we could send out our pilots and our equipment by Air India cargo flights uh, to Varanasi and other places as well. Um, we started getting multiple government orders, municipal corporations, smart cities um, who wanted to use drone-based sanitization. The startup has been using drones to disinfect around 3.28 million square kilometer area across India to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Named as the Corona Killer, these drones can work for 12 hours a day and cover 20 kilometers and reach a height of about 450 feet. So uh, every single place, uh, government work order that we uh, catered to is nothing less than about 300 to 500 acres of um, area wherein in Varanasi the, the, we've been at it for about a month plus now where we've been uh, there and serving and uh, the count goes up to about 1500 acres plus but what I'm trying to say is that the, there are hot zones in all of these areas which the government wants us to ensure that uh, sanitization uh, via drones is being done on a regular basis and uh, uh, so far with over 20 uh, government projects and right now there are plenty of uh, private factories uh, like you know places like uh, Miot Hospital, um, Coromandel Factory the, of the Murgapa Group, um, Brigade, CBRE, um, Godridge Industries in Mumbai. So all of these guys um, with huge office spaces with um, uh, with industries, factories, and uh, and hospitals are very firm on uh, following up with sanitization because when office opens, like today, what is what are the ways where you can combat the coronavirus? Right now, we have social uh, distancing, self isolation, um, and keeping yourself at home. But this cannot go on forever. Um, and the cases, despite about two months of severe lockdown, you've seen the cases only grow up. So like, how is it happening? Why is it happening? So that is where the very, like, you know, a uh, topic which hasn't been spoken much is the surface spread of the coronavirus. WHO has categorically mentioned that uh, the virus is capable of surviving 24 to 72 hours in several surfaces like in stainless steel and in plastics and such. What is the easier fix is sanitizing those areas where uh, surface spread is most likely. So we will be able to prevent um, the spread of the coronavirus and you'll be able to flatten the curve. The startups, drones as a service ecosystem can accomplish the sanitization operations in a quarter of the time. Automated sanitization aims to address inaccessibility, speed and efficiency of public health workers who are conducting manual spraying operations under severe health risks to themselves and their families. 
They have also worked during severe emergencies such as Chennai floods in 2015, Cyclone Varda in 2016, and during recent Kerala floods. We have facts stating that drone based sanitization in the areas where we've done studies and analysis that we've done shows that in areas where we have done drone based sanitization, we have slowed down the spread of the coronavirus and the doubling time has extended from about five days to 9.7 days. Now, we're not saying we are the only reasons why that spread has slowed, but we are definitely one of the reasons because in places where we are in there, the spread is happening a lot quicker. For the time being, can be used so much, not just in uh, like, you know, in terms of the sanitization or for surveillance, but also for delivery of like, you know, food and other essential supplies in your containment zones or in your hot zones where you're still uh, restricting travel and movement of goods and services. Uh, and, you know, and drones are like, you know, uh, blessed in a way where you, it cannot contaminate anybody else. I think we have a solution to um, combat the coronavirus, especially its surface spread. And going forward, I feel that uh, uh, like, you know, an additional um, arm of the Swachh Bharat could evolve into a drone-based uh, Swachh Bharat, which I feel personally that India would need um, in order to combat this situation and prevent uh, further damages from happening. They're also working on AI developments in their drones to help combat climate change as drones can be a great data collector in areas where humans cannot go and collect data. Thank you.